Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video of um, GZ Doom Builder. And I know it's been like a month, and I'm going to be uploading even less as of this week just gone. Purely because I've just gone into college and I'm studying game design, and so I'm going to have a lot less time to sort of record these videos but I'm going to try my best to start uploading more and as much as possible because despite the fact that I've just had like seven or eight weeks off I just haven't really gotten around to it there's no proper excuse except from laziness but anyway um, if we just jump straight into doing this now um, for once I have pre-made a map, so instead of jumping into a new map, which is what you will probably do, I'm just going to load this map up, I've named it appropriately, and you can see here I've got a, a room set up with a couple of areas branching off, and um, basically I've just sort of made this to sort of save a little bit of time of texturing and placing down items and actually making the rooms. I still probably will make a couple of extra rooms, but it shouldn't take as long. But it's the same sort of um, concept, just make a starter room, place in a player start so you can test it, and we'll go from there. So if we just sort of jump into the game, and I'll show you what I've got going on in here, basically. And so what you can see here is it's just an empty room in Doom, and that was <laughs> unintentional. Um, but most players initially would, you know, think, oh, it's just an empty room, they'd run around, they'd start, you know, hitting use on the walls to see if they could find the thing. And they'd sort of be hitting use, and they'd reach this, and they'd be like, ah, oh, well there's a door there, so this must be a secret. So they walk in, the secret is revealed, you know, as you'd expect from a secret. Now, here I've slightly misaligned the texture, so if you do get closed in, it's... And if and you do somehow manage to forget where the door is, that just sort of helps you out a little bit, just to be nice. And now everyone else is like, right, well we found that, what else do we do? I say everyone else, I mean any player. <laughs> but um now notice how if you shoot a wall, it leaves those little marks. Well, d not if you punch it, but so players most players would probably shoot walls and see this wall doesn't leave anything this is a false wall so players can walk through there and find this little secret it's only got the texturing on one side so the player can see out of it sort of like in E1M1 there's that little secret that's a false wall and you can see through one side but not the other and they're basically the secrets I've laid out since in this episode we are focusing on secrets and false walls because false walls sort of link with secrets so secrets are a very very basic concept literally all you want to do is just create a door size is completely up to you and we'll make this room slightly bigger and then actually publish this WAD as like the WAD of secrets where the main goal is just to find all of the secrets and then just quit when you're done <laughs> but um... let's not actually do that because most people probably won't appreciate that so what we want to do is just set this up as a door with a repeatable action um, player presses use that will be the trigger so that when you actually hit the use key on the door, in my case it's C the door will open and obviously one thing I forgot to do, so this door is set it as a repeatable action nice because that can sometimes mean you can get in one way and not get out again okay so we set up the door you know basic but you know we haven't actually made the door go up and down or anything but if you press use in this sort of area the door does still go down and up and when you walk into this room it doesn't say secret discovered or anything so 
what's going on there. First things first, we actually want to make, finish off making the door. <coughs> so one thing I like to do, if you noticed when we played there, when the door came down, these textures moved with it. Now that's one thing I really don't like, because it makes it look unfinished, so all you do is you click, bo you select both from um, right click in 3D view mode or the um, 2D grid view mode and just hit lower unpegged and that means they don't move down up and down with the roof or the floor I don't think they move with the floor they do now to stop to stop them moving with the floor say using an elevator just set them to upper unpegged now I think you can set them to both I know you can set them to both they don't like cancel each other out but I don't know if it works. No, it doesn't. I think upper unpegging does work for that, but um, either way, that's not what we're doing a video about, so here we'll just, again, set the texture as that, so it's relatively difficult to find, just misline the texture, not too hard to do, and there you have a room, and again if you just jump into that and you sort of run over to where that room is well the door works but it doesn't say secret discovered even though we've hidden it very well so how do we do that? Um, and it's a very simple thing <coughs> most people will, will already know this because it's a pretty easy thing to A figure out and B look up because it's it's quite a common thing to find when you're looking up um, things related to GZ Doom on the internet. So what you want to do is hit S on your keyboard, which is the sector tool, or head along to here and just hit this little square. So along here you have vectors, uh, I mean vertices, which are these little um, things, which is what the tool you start with, which if you right click lets you create a line. But you have things mode which lets you place objects in I'll just leave that there because maybe you find another plasma gun inside this secret and it gives you more ammo Okay. <coughs> now I haven't played around with too many of these things but if you just hit sectors mode and right click on the sector that is your secret don't do what I just did, I don't <laughs> know how I did that right click this now we'll, hear, we'll see down here there's like a little special area. This is the only area we want to play with. Don't hit the down arrow because you can't do it here. Um, I think you can set it to secret but it also gives it some extra effects on the side. I don't know. I think they took it out of this area. If you're using just regular Doom Builder then it will be in this part. But in GZ Doom Builder, it's in Generalized Effects, there's a little option called Secret, you just set that to Yes, and you are done. That's that, that is now a secret, so when you walk over and open this door and walk in, Secret is revealed. Now we've got our Plasma Rifle, our Super Shotgun, our Plasma Rifle's Ammo, and of course our regular Shotgun. OCD. Um, right, so we've learned how to make a secret. <coughs> now we want to learn how to make a false wall, wall right? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus on the one that I've already made, so I don't have to go into like making a whole bunch of other rooms. So there's a whole thing of there's a texture here, but if that texture was removed, that would just be a gap because it's not like I've dragged the ceiling down and like made part of the ceiling um, so you can walk through it but I have placed a texture over a gap which is as you can see I can't really hover over the gap and place a texture there in 3D mode unless there's already a texture there and I want to replace it and then that happens so that, that sort of shows you that it is a gap and um, basically, what this is, is just a regular line. It's that simple. <laughs> if I, actually, if I draw a line here, 
if I draw a line here, well done brain, nice one. If we go into um, 3D mode, you'll notice that there is nothing there, not here, not here. And we did it directly in front of the player and long enough and big enough for you to be able to see. Well, what you want to do, you see we have middle textures, these are the only ones we want to work with when we're creating false walls. So I'm going to use the um, texture of the wall here. Now, if we jump in, there's nothing this side, but on this side there is. And it goes all the way up to the roof. So, if we just copy this texture along to the other side, <coughs> it does the same for both sides. And that is how you create a false wall. You can set it to um, impassable and it would just be a very very thin wall if you do that but if you leave it as if you don't tick unpassable then the player will easily just be able to you know clip through that and that's how you make false walls one-sided and double-sided it works for both sides so it doesn't only work for one side so say if I wanted this side where the player isn't facing to be like a wall. I'll literally just take out this texture. There's nothing this side, but there's something that side. And it's just that simple to make them. And um, like I was talking about earlier, if you make it impossible, um, impassable, not impossible, now the player can't walk through it, and the player still can shoot through it, but can't walk through it. And, well, whilst we're on the topic of being able to shoot through it, I might as well. Um, this is also how you make fences, for those who don't know. This is something that I could never find anywhere. So, what you want to do is just go to base, I don't know, uh, use that or something. Doesn't Texture doesn't really matter. I'll select it on both sides. I mean, it's kind of got nothing here, but it doesn't matter too much. What matters is we've made a fence that you can see through and shoot through and be shot through, but you can't actually walk through it. I thought I might as well throw that into the video um, because it's useful to know. It's useful when making maps and... Um, it's something I, str I personally struggled to find for many months because it was something that I really, really wanted to use in one of my wads that I was making. And when I did find it, after a many months of searching, I was really pleased. Like, re really pleased. But, um, I'm just seeing if you can shoot through that part. You can't. Ah. Anyway, that should more or less do it for this video. Um, some very basic stuff. Shouldn't be too hard to forget. And if you do, just remember you can always come on down to this video. If any of you need help with anything that's like really small or you don't think would make for a very good video, you know, just drop me a message and I'll see what I can do to help. I'm always happy to help and I'm always happy to make more videos, so don't forget to suggest some videos to me, like little ideas, things that you need help with making, and I'll happily look into it and make a tutorial on it for you. Um, with that being said, if you like this video, be sure to you know drop it a like, show your support, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks to everyone that has been supporting me, we've made it to 100 subscribers, which for me is a big milestone because I didn't even think I'd make it past 50. So thanks to everyone who has supported me and thanks to anyone who will continue to support me and you know give me motivation to continue making these videos because I do love making them honestly. <laughs> but anyway I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.